Hello, my fellow hobbyists. I haven't forgotten about my paintballers. I got a video for you guys. Let's talk paintball helmets. We are looking at the Warrior Tactical Helmet, which I got through a and Scare. No, I'm not sponsored because up until this point, I only have 22 subscribers, but it comes in black, tan, and olive green like the one I have here. When it comes to paintball, helmets aren't really a necessity, but a lot of woods ball players are starting to add them to their arsenal. They're starting to add them to their gear. If I was to make a few speculations on why woods ball players are starting to add helmets to their gear, I would say because you can mount many different accessories to these helmets and also to protect you from, from head shots. Uh, if you ever gotten hit in the head, well, you know that those can kind of hurt a little bit. So those would be probably my, my two reasons why why woods ball players are starting to use helmets. On this particular helmet, you have accessory mounting points on both sides of the helmet and on the front. Now, when we turn the helmet around looking on the inside, you have this chin strap that simply just snaps together. Inside the helmet, you have removable padding, which you can remove rather easy because it's on Velcro, and you can kind of modify this the way you want. To use this helmet with your mask, you're gonna have to remove the front pad. I got this helmet to work with some of the mask I have. The one mask I couldn't get it to, to fit was my Empire EVS. As you can see, my EVS uh, just a little too big for this, too wide. I did get it to work with my Empire Events. Um, as you can see, it, it, it sits kind of rather nice. Uh, the one that really fit real good was my Die i Force. And I think this helmet's gonna work the best with the die, the die I force because they have such a thin profile. I'm gonna do a little modeling for you guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing it here with my events. It fits rather nice. Now there is a gap on top, as you can see, but I think if you kind of modify it, uh, adjust maybe the padding inside. I think, I think, I think you can get it to work and sit rather well. Here's what it looks like with the Die i3s, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is one of the older Die masks. But as you can see, it sits rather well. It sits rather flush. To my surprise, I even got it to work with the Sly Profit. As you can see, it sits rather nice. It sits rather flush. It's a little bit uncomfortable. But I think if you move the padding around a little bit, you can make it sit better and be a little bit more comfortable. But again, the one mask that it fits perfectly with is the Die I-4s. Maybe it's because of the thin profile, but I mean, as you can see, it just sits so perfect. It fits perfectly. This is comfortable. Uh, looking at this, it just looks like it goes together. You can make it work with the other mask like I just demonstrated to you. But in my opinion, the Die I-4s, it looks a whole lot better with this mask. As I mentioned before, it just looks like it goes together. The only thing I had to remove so I can make it work was remove that front pad. And honestly, I'm not even sure that I had to. I just simply removed it and tried it on and it worked. So this is the mask I'll be using when I wear this helmet. Now the reason I'm using a helmet is so that I can mount my GoPro. Uh, to mount your GoPro, you're going to need this GoPro adapter for it. I thought the basic GoPro clips mount to that, but I was wrong. You actually do need that adapter. Overall, it's a good looking helmet. It didn't come with any accessories, just the mounting points that are on the helmet. And I can't wait to try it out. All right, my paintball hobbyists, thanks for watching. Get a hobby and live life.